Hey everyone, I've got a quick little announcement to make and also at the end of that just a little sort of update slash news type of thing. Uh, the announcement that I wanted to make is that a Discord server has now been created for the channel. Simon, who has joined us on several of our live stream movie discussions, he was kind and gracious enough to create the server for me because I don't know the first thing about how to do that sort of stuff on Discord. And he's he's laid it out pretty, you know, in a pretty cool way. I like the way he broke down everything. And I have started putting the Discord link on in the description of all my videos and might also be listed on my my uh, channel banner and everything. But I wanted to just sort of make this official announcement to let you guys know if you don't already that the server is there and might be kind of an easier place to submit recommendations uh, to talk about stuff if you want to do like real quick voice chats movie discussions whatever if you don't want to hop on youtube with their clunky <laughs> commenting system that and sometimes i miss comments in there because youtube just decides on their own to not show them to me but whatever it just might be an easier way to sort of have movie and entertainment related discussions and also to potentially uh, coordinate whenever we're going to do another live stream, stuff like that. So it just might be a, a quicker method of communication than email or even YouTube comments. So I just wanted to let you guys know that and feel free to join us and have fun talking about great stories, which is what I like to do. I'll try to be active on there. I, I'm not super active on Discord. I do use Discord for work, but oh geez scare me. But now that I've got my own server, I'm going to try to make it a, a more concerted effort to be present there a little bit more often than, than I uh, usually am on Discord. Oh yeah, sorry. Something else that I was going to mention was that the name of the server was very creatively come up with by Chris, who has participated in some of the, the chats, not the live stream stuff, but like the the text chats during the live streams. And uh, he came up with a cool name called The Cinema. C-Y-N-E-M-A. That was kind of neat. So that's what we went with. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. So there's that. Now, the next thing that I wanted to talk about is that I haven't been in the best mood lately to do recordings and stuff. And that's been largely because we got some a situation going on with one of our dogs. As some of you know, we lost one of our fur babies last year, late last year, because she had cancer and we eventually had to you know, put her down. And it was extremely painful because she had been with us for almost 16 years. I mean, 15 and a half years. We got her in May of 2005 and and um, she she died in December of 2020. So she was she lived a long, full life. One of our other fur babies, who is our little heart fur baby, we love him to death, Scooter. And the reason he's so special is because he was the first dog we brought into the house. The other dog, Dora, she spent a good portion of her life in the first few years outside. We had allergies. We weren't we weren't sure we could have a dog in the house without dying of asthma or something. But she did end up joining us more in the house. And in her final year, she was fully inside the house. But Scooter was the first dog that came into our family to not into our family, but to live within our you know under our roof. And he's a sweet he's a sweet sweet little boy and. He's a rat terrier chihuahua mix, and he's precious. But he's been having some weird health issues lately, and we, we think we've figured out for sure what it is. It's cancer. And he has started having seizures. Last night was the first time we noticed it, and he's had four in less than 24 hours. He's right now at the our local college um, veterinary school ER, and hopefully we can bring him home tomorrow and keep him comfortable. So basically, I'm just in a funk. I said I wasn't going to cry. 
Wait a minute. I'm a bit down because I don't know how much longer he's, you know, we have left with him. On top of that, our two little ratties, they're not going to be with us much longer either. They both have respiratory issues and one has a terrible a, a tumor that she's dealing with. And they're already more than two years old. So that's about the lifespan of ratties. So we're looking at the possibility of losing three fur babies this year after having recently lost one last year and it's just kind of puts me out of the mood of laughing you know maybe laughter would kind of take me a little bit away from it but I just don't have the drive right now I will try to put some videos up of things that I have recorded eons ago like reactions to movies and episodes I've got a lot of those that I just haven't finished editing yet because it just takes a while and then you deal with copyright when you put it up a lot of times but anyway I just wanted to kind of put that out there in, in case anyone was ever wondering like why aren't you doing any uh, comedy reactions right now I mean I might be able to jump right into it later this week or or next week but right now just I just don't have the heart for it. And I know I don't have to tell. I don't need to feel obligated to tell you guys this. But I'm just saying saying it because I want to. A lot of you feel like kind of, you know, you're in my circle of friends. And, you know, friends talk to each other about things that are going on. So, yeah, that's it for this video. And I hope you all have a great week.